I surround myself with people that are going to be in my life for a long time. I'm yeah. not into the seasonal friendships. Like, your arm. What happened? Yes. <laughs> what oh. happened to your arm? Okay. If I saw a straight man, I could not speak. Like, just to, even if I didn't even think they were cute. Like, like I would, you were, like, still so awkward. I, I, it was like I, I had never seen one in the wild. <laughs> if you're wearing pants, take them off and put your heels on. <laughs> Sorry, what? After I won Best Dancer, doing, like, the tour was, like, the one of the best years of my life. Like, <laughs> and I'm standing outside with my roommate, because she's also mm-hmm. auditioning. And Olivia Rodrigo pulls up in her range rover and almost hits us i'll have little surfer children and a <laughs> That's hot sexy husband <laughs> i love charlie puth <laughs> literally who is that no i think you should keep that in that's so we need a blooper reel for this <laughs> one ladies and gentlemen may i have your attention please Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to episode 23 of Stop Talking Kens. I have my very special guest, Bella Clausen, here with me today. Hey guys. This is very long awaited. Very long awaited. We've been trying to make this happen, and finally, finally, finally Saturday night. Oh, Saturday night, we're getting we're, crazy. <laughs> this is what's happening on this mm, fine Saturday yes. night. Yes. Can't catch us at a party. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Filming a podcast. Okay. <laughs> Let's just jump right into it. Let's jump right in. Okay. How did you even get started into dance? Okay. Well, my mom was a professional ballerina. Oh, my she God. She was a Trina. And so she was the dancer in the fam, and she, like, really did not want me to be a dancer at Oh, all. I feel like a lot of mm-hmm. parents who have children, they don't want them to they, dance. I feel like they either really want it or, or they, like, don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she was like, I don't want her to do it. Like, it's just too much pressure. Whatever. Yeah. Of course. BK you wanted to was do like, it. <laughs> I want to be a dancer, so started dance when I was three, and just like baby ballet classes, you know the deal. Yeah. With my mom's old teachers. Oh my god. Yeah. And then I joined a ballet school when I was ten. Okay. And my mom was in the company of that ballet. School. Still, while no, you. Were no, 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 oh. no, no. She was retired. retired. Yeah. Okay, okay, but, but she was like she. But yeah. when you were there, you exactly. guys were not there at the same time. No, not okay. the same time. But I had all of her like old teachers. That's crazy. And I would like when we would wear costumes and stuff, we would use like old costumes, and I would like get put in my mom's. That's old crazy. Costumes. That's but, like cute. Yeah, it was cute. It was a cute moment, but it was a lot of pressure. Yeah, I for mean. sure, for sure. But, and then I obviously did a whole bunch of training programs, and now I'm 19 in That's LA. That's crazy. Oh my, I'm only a year younger than you. I know. I just turned 18. I know. 18. She's legal. Crazy. That's, but you're almost 20, right? Uh, like, in, like, six months. Oh. Yeah, you're, like, wow. You're like, what? I always feel like you're, like, baby Ken's to Yeah, me, I know. That's but. so weird. No. Do you remember? There's oh, a God. video that I posted, and, and, we're, and you're, you were Wait. best dancer at the time, but I was in the junior room. But I think you were, like, technically a teen. It's just, like, you were best dancer. Uh-huh, so I was in the Yeah, room. and, like, no, I actually posted so many videos of us Wait, from the what? junior room. I'm not Wait, even kidding. I need to see these. They're, because... like, still on my Instagram. Like, I went back. Like, you know when you, like, go on your Instagram and you do, like, a nice cleanse? Oh, yeah. And you, the like, cleanses. delete the things. Yes. You archive. Always. No, but these videos are have not been archived wait why have i not seen these they've survived the guys ken's me and the twins go like way back we go way back, way back. like mini room mini room that's like so weird that's crazy and now oh like gosh. i'm like this is my last year competition i haven't been to a competition yet but <laughs> it is my last year that's competition so crazy we're all getting so old it's like stressing me out it's like so weird like the kids you grew up with like on convention and no, like now like that world just like doesn't exist like no. isn't that so weird it's like actually insanity and then i'll like run into someone at an audition something that i haven't seen in like six and you're years like, and you're oh, like hey okay girl <laughs> okay. how are you let's go back okay. so you joined ballet school yeah when you were 10 yeah and that's like where you do ballet at school yeah so basically my schedule was i would do ballet in the morning uh-huh. so we'd start at 8 a.m 8 a.m ballet <sighs> it was like monday through friday monday through friday and we would do five hours of ballet in the morning no you're kidding no i'm so serious <laughs> you're and kidding. then no listen and then it gets worse because then we would go to school 
and we'd have school from like 12 to 5 or not 12 to 5 like 2 to 5 whatever like not very much school school was not the priority un- unfortunately school was not the priority you did not do five hours of ballet in the morning yes and then <laughs> no and then we'd go to school and then i'd go to yyc and go to so the ballet after. school wasn't part of yyc so they like worked together but so like, like so like some people could do the ballet school but not yyc yeah and so, then some people could do yyc but not the ballet school yeah exactly yeah so and then I'd go to YOC and do that training so I was training for like at least eight hours a day every day I can't get over the five hours of ballet like how were you how were you able to get out of bed in the morning oh my well I would wake <laughs> up because I know like actually and I was like crazy when I was younger I was so intense so yeah like, you were so good so, I mean you're still so good but like still no. like oh my gosh but I would wake up at 5 30 was my, this was my schedule i'd wake up at 5 30 and i'd go downstairs to work out and before I'd, yes because i was crazy i don't know why i'd go and i'd go on the treadmill for an hour and then i'd get ready for ballet and then my mom would drive me to ballet school five hours of ballet school then i'd go to yyc okay what grades was this like during like seven so yeah this started um grade six to grade nine okay yeah and but i'm assuming this isn't a school where you can like hit up the prom oh my gosh no so (laughs) this was like a soup no there was i mean in canada there's like not prom really not a thing we call it grad but it's not like the graduation it's like you get a pretty dress and you like sit at a table with your parents that sounds like not fun i think you have a date (laughs) i don't know how it all works but have you ever been to like a school dance well yeah well because i moved to arizona okay okay so you moved to arizona my senior year and you went to a public high school i did and did you love it i absolutely loved it i think my senior year was definitely like your the best favorite year because i went to public high school grade 10 to okay. grade 12 in canada y- yeah okay so because in everything's just different there in alberta high school starts in grade 10 not grade 9 oh really yeah so it's like we're not like freshmen that's why i call it like grade 10 grade yeah. 9 so Everyone's you don't call like, it like sophomore junior no, senior in canada no. you don't say that <laughs> No, so when I came here, uh, you're like, I'm grade 12. Yeah. People are like, you're a senior. Exactly. (laughs) And so I went to public high school my whole high school experience. So, but technically not because normal people start as a freshman. Okay, 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 okay. (laughs) For three years of high school. (laughs) And I think that was like the best thing I ever did. Okay. Because ballet school was amazing for like me as a dancer, but I became so socially awkward. (laughs) <laughs> like no it was so bad if i saw a straight man i could not speak like just to even if i didn't even think they were cute like, like I you would, were like still so awkward. I, I, it was like i i had never seen one in the wild <laughs> like no i'm so serious and so going to high school like changed like changed me as a person yeah. and i'm so happy i did yeah. that um because there were so many opinions about me like leaving ballet school like even from like people who followed me and my coaches right. like everyone had different opinions of it and right i was like i just want to be like a kind pers- of like a person a yeah, little bit yeah like, just like experience no. the normal exactly so yeah. i'm so happy i did that but my senior year was definitely like the best year as like a human That's so like, exciting went to normal high school went to my first football game <gasps> Went to prom, got a Went to the real prom. Yes, went to the real prom. (laughs) Like, I just, like, experienced life. And, like, obviously, I still cared about dance so much. It's been my whole life forever. But, like, I just kind of, like, relaxed a bit. So, yeah, yeah, I got that balance. When did you start, like, seriously competing at, like, the break the floors, all that? And did you do, like, the car showstopper thing first? Oh. No, so many people come on here and say they, like, went to car first and then they got into break the floor. I never did any oh, of that Oh, was it not stuff. a thing in Canada? No, I don't think. <laughs> I mean, maybe it was, but not for me. Okay, okay. Like, I, there were, like, little competitions right, in right. Calgary. But, like, the furthest you would go was, like, three hours away for a comp. Like, it's not, like, how it is here. Yeah. For me, at least. Where you, like, get on red eyes and <laughs> no, like, do the whole competition thing. Like, I started doing break the floors and stuff like that when I was... I think my first one was when I was 10. It was mini room. Calgary mini room, um, which is so crazy because I felt like I was so late to the game. Yeah. 
and I was 10. Yeah. But everyone was like, I started when I was seven. Why, I was why? in the newbie room. Yeah, exactly. Why weren't you doing that then? And I was like, <laughs> oh my gosh, like I am so behind. And then I literally went like every two weeks I would go to convention um, because my dream was to be best dancer. Um, <laughs> so literally like my mom and I were traveling at least twice a month, I would say. And then we would go the red eye home Sunday night. And so you'd I, go back to ballet school. I could make it to ballet How school Monday morning. How did you do that? Dancing was, all week and then conventions like take yeah, a toll on the body. Yeah. Like for sure. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And then you waking up on Monday. Well, I think like the big thing was like I had to prove to the ballet school that I could like physically do it. I, like, I literally crazy. used to watch your vlogs all the time. <laughs> and you would like, no, like I literally feel like I can picture your house oh my gosh my canada house yes i miss it i do i mean the vlogs were something that were so fun for me and i still like do it look, sometimes and, like looking back on it like isn't that like just like having those like it's, isn't that so like special i, I love it and i'm yeah. so excited for like when i have kids and like i can be like, like this is what at, i did i mean i don't know if i'd show my kids i feel like some of them are kind of really embarrassing but um like no, when your kid doesn't want to wake up to go to school, be like, watch this. I no. went to ballet school. At eight in the oh morning. my gosh. <laughs> no, but I loved doing the vlogs and like, that's kind of like what gave me a start on like the social media right. path. Right. So I'm so grateful that like people like really picked up on that and just like, yeah, I wasn't doing anything crazy. Like I was just filming Vlogging my everyday day. life. I wasn't yeah. doing anything extra and yeah. it just like kind of blew up, which is so crazy. That's so cool. But yeah, I loved it. Okay. So going back to competition. Yes. You won best dancer your junior year. I did. Yes. And that was what the best experience ever. Okay. Yeah. It was crazy because it was a journey for me. And I really? feel like yes, I so I got first runner up two years in a row. Oh my God. That is the worst. I mean, not like I've been first runner up <laughs> a lot of times in a row, but like you're just like so close. It's like that you're so close, but you're so far. And like every year after I would get first runner up, I'd be like, obviously super excited yeah. and like happy, yeah. but I'd be like, oh, now I have to like wait another year yeah. to like try again. Yeah. Um, but it kind of just lit a fire under my butt and I'm so, like, I'm grateful that, like, that's how it ended up being. Because if I would have won, like, right away, like, yeah. I don't know, like, where I would be sort right. of thing. So, right. I feel like it really pushed me to, like, right. be a better dancer. Yeah. Um, But, like, after I won Best Dancer, doing, like, the tour was, like, the one of the best years of my life. Like, getting to, like, make those connections is something that, yeah. like, I'm so grateful for and happy I got to do. But I... Like, to me, when I was younger, like, best dancer was end all be all. Like, it was like, this is all I want. Once I get it, I've I achieved my goals. I've accomplished life. all. And, like, I kind of wish I, like, opened my eyes to more because there's so much more. And after I achieved that goal, I kind of, like, not, like, start slack, started slacking. But, like, I don't know. I now was like, you're like, I did now it. what? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So, I think, like. If you're in the break the floor, like, and you win scene. best dancer at eight, yeah, it's like not, <laughs> it's not like, and even if you don't, like, it's not end all be all. Yeah. There's so much more to achieve and to strive for. And in life, there's so much more than like what you place at competition. Exactly. Like, yeah. I feel like people get like so stressed at like even like a weekend competition, like no. oh winner, gosh. runner up. Like, yeah, I mean, and it is so stressful. And in it the feels, moment, it feels like the end of the world. Like, but it then really like you does. like realize like I just like my mom and I talk about this a lot. Like the times I've spent in the car, like crying. No. On the way back from like those Sunday closing shows. No. No. Literally, like it's so terrible. Yeah, because it feels like. The, the end, end of, of the, the world. world it does but now like i'm not. like applying to college and i'm like okay maybe this is the end of the world <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, but yeah. yeah no i mean i think like the whole convention scene like is amazing and it makes everyone like, so much better like, oh my gosh sure. but like i feel like just like if yeah. it doesn't go your way just like yeah. take a deep breath yeah you got it girl you're yeah. still amazing like it doesn't mean yeah. anything really yeah for sure <laughs> Okay, did you, like, compete, like, until senior? Yeah, I, like, went all the way you through. You went all the way through. Yeah, I took a bit of a break. I, well, I didn't compete best dancer all the way through. Yeah, yeah. After I won, I only competed one other time after that, and it was COVID year, so oh, it, was it was online. On Zoom. You did, yeah, like, the Zoom I did improv. the Zoom thing, and then that was the only other time I competed for it. But I competed throughout my whole, like, middle school high school experience what convention room do you think is your favorite 
That's a hard one. Really? Yeah. Okay, I feel like this is kind of a random answer. I feel like being a junior in the teen room. <laughs> like <laughs> like when you like already get the winner and then you get to go take the teen yeah, classes. Yeah, those moments. <laughs> yes, because you feel so cool. <laughs> you're like you're with the older kids. You're with the and you get the big stage. I think oh, like the big teen, stage. The big stage is like and teens are like mature enough that like there's no one doing like cartwheels in the back yeah. or any of that but they're not like over it like you know the what seniors I mean? are yeah but the thing i don't like about the teen room is like that's like prime of everyone like out for blood i feel exactly. like exactly that's why I no it. no uh, i don't do that <laughs> no i think it's so i don't fun. do the out for blood i'm like what will come to me will come to yeah. me yeah I, I wish i had a little bit of that energy i just <laughs> i don't i'm like you're like, like bring it i'm like let's go girl oh boy <laughs> so what, what's your favorite senior room i really? love it because it's like chill everyone's like and then the teachers are like come forward guys come forward because yeah. no one ever comes forward yeah and then like the teen room you're like pushing people to true. like get to the front true i love the senior room it's what like if, so like calm. what if i was like i like the mini room <laughs> <laughs> it only got worse from there no i mean yeah i think Junior I, I never was room. a newbie like isn't that so sad I, I started know. when I was 10 too yeah did but you like, feel like you were late yeah because yeah. everyone was like I started I when here. I was seven no 10 10 but is you know the, the age 10 is the age but you know like the newbies how like you know what like at the weekend schedule and their schedule just stops at half and then everyone else's keeps yeah, going that like, would have been nice yeah <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a nice moment yeah but you know next year <laughs> Maybe you can just pop in the newbie room. Yeah. Okay. You were in your Arizona, yes. your senior year. Uh huh. Why did you move to Arizona? Okay. I feel like everyone thinks that I like just like me just like up and went to <laughs> like for dance, but my dad actually got a job there. Really? Yes. <laughs> so my dad got a job in Arizona, and my best friend Avery Gay um, lives there, obviously. Yeah. And my dad didn't know if he wanted to take it. And you were like. And I was like, we're taking it. So I think we found out in April that we were moving. Of your junior year. Of my junior your year. Your grade 11. My grade 11 <laughs> year. And I think we were, we, we moved in August. Okay. So it was pretty quick, I would say. Okay. Considering a whole new country. Yeah. Like oh my had, God. Yeah. But. Yeah, so I moved to Arizona, hopped right into school, and that was so scary. Senior year, new school, new people. That's so, oh my but, god. But, like, I just, like, kind of, like, had a great experience. Like, I know that's, like, kind of annoying to, like, hear, and everyone's probably like, how did you have a great, like, experience just, senior Just, like, jumping year? into but, everything. But, like, I think, like, I was so ready for a fresh start. Right. And, um, Canada, I just didn't, feel, I didn't belong there. Like, mm -hmm like it's a great city and like I'm like proud to say like that I'm from there but I just always felt like out of place and I didn't like I had a few friends but no one that I was like like I didn't have like that yeah. group that I felt like I was craving yeah so when I moved out to Arizona I went to a club dance studio and um I went to a normal high school and I just knew, like, I was like, this is where I'm supposed to be. So you literally, like, lived the life of, like, so many people your senior year. Like, you yeah. go to high school, then yeah. you go home, you change for dance, you exactly. go to your dance studio, you go home, and you do it all again. Yeah, and I feel like it was so nice to, like, have, like, a fresh start. And I was like, I could literally just, like, decide who I, like, wanted to be, like, how literally. people Like, no one, me. like... No. Well, I'm sure, like, a lot of people knew you, but, like, <laughs> no one, like, no. personally really knew you. Yeah, and, I mean, I'm so grateful for Avery because she really helped me, yeah. obviously, make friends, and I, right. would, I wouldn't have met anyone if it wasn't <laughs> for her, but, um, yeah, it was just, like, the best year. I don't even know how to describe it. I made so many amazing friends at club, and the teachers at club welcomed me with open arms. I felt like... I had been there for years yeah. when I left. Yeah. And yeah, I just like couldn't have had a better senior year experience. Oh, that's so 
every senior i'm a senior you like really have to start thinking yeah. like what's next because uh-huh. like your whole life is that's just like feels like a rug is being ripped exactly. out from underneath no, you actually. like your whole routine that you've been mm-hmm. doing forever is just gone yeah so how did you decide what to do after you graduated high school okay well i never wanted to go to college mm. i just did not like school it wasn't for <laughs> me i just never saw myself like doing, doing it that. for four more years yeah. that you don't need to and i always knew that i was gonna be here like in, now in california yeah i n- i didn't want to live in new york that has never been like something that i wanted like broadway that kind yeah, of street yeah my mom Does, hates new york uh, so do i i <laughs> it's kind of scary. Uh, scary i don't know i i feel like i need to go for fun though because just like the dance scene in New York scares yeah. me a bit. But yeah. maybe for fun, I'd have a good time. You've never been? Not just for fun, always for work. Yeah. Okay, okay. But you've been to New I've York. I've been so many times, but like... Never I just to like explore the no, Times Square. No, I'm always there for work. So I feel like I need to like yeah. go for fun. Yeah. Maybe we can plan a trip. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, but I always knew California was the place for me. I mm. love the ocean. Yeah. Like, it's just the weather. The vibes. Or- the vibes. Ugh. Yeah. So... I had heard about launch, obviously, and I really thought like that was the program for me. <laughs> I just love all of them. Yeah, like they're no just joke, the best. Yeah, everyone there's the best. And yeah, I, and I didn't even know I was moving until April, which is like pretty scary. Like, yeah, I had no plan. All of my friends knew what they were doing. Like everyone was going to school. I did. I did get accepted into like ASU and U of A because they were it, the in states. Okay. So you did like. Those I applied, yeah, just like, I, just in case. I like, got into U of A. Yeah, <laughs> It was like so random. Like it's like yeah. the rolling admission no, one. No, exactly. Where you like yeah. find out like two weeks later. Exactly. So yeah. um, I had that as like, but that was like, I wasn't, that wasn't going to happen. Yeah. I wasn't going to yeah. let that happen. So um, yeah. Doesn't April, Avery go to U of A? Avery goes to U of A. In the dance program. Yes. She's always on my For You page with yes, those TikToks. I know. She's loving the TikToks <laughs> recently. Um, but yeah, those, that just wasn't an option for me. Yeah. And I really wanted to move out here, but my parents were so unsure. Mm. They didn't know that much about the program. And then one day they just like surprised me. And they were like, you're going to launch. You're moving really? to LA. Yes. So, okay. So you were like trying to convince them. Yeah. It was kind of just like, I feel like this is like the right thing for me. And they were just kind of unsure. They just didn't know yeah. if how like that would how work. the program was yeah. enough. And then I think, I don't really know what happened behind the scenes. Maybe you, you got to have the parents on the <laughs> podcast. <laughs> but how did you get, how did you let Bella go yeah, to launch? Exactly. But, um. Yeah, and then I had a call with Krista, and she was like, yeah, we'd more, more than love to have you. And now I'm not in L.A. I'm in Orange County. Yeah, um, Orange County girls for life. Orange County life. girls for life. Um, but, yeah, I'm, this is, I love the program so much. I actually couldn't be happier with my decision. So. I love, like, them all. Yeah. Seriously. They're like, the, the twins and I would spend, like, our days there. And then yeah. we would do, like, the mini intensive. Oh, my gosh. And then gosh, my so mom cute. would literally drop us off at 7 a.m. Mm-hmm. We'd do the mini intensive. Yeah. We'd do the junior intensive. Then Autumn would take us to her uh-huh. house. We'd, like, chill, eat yeah. lunch, whatever, and then go take the teen and senior one. Yeah, We'd exactly. literally, like, 11. Yeah. Like, we literally would spend our days there, like... No, Autumn and Krista are both mother. They're so mother. Ma- like, Autumn needs to come on. I'm trying to get yes, her too. But it's like she's a busy girl. Yeah. On that one, but she does need to come on. Yeah. Yes. But the Millers, I'm so grateful for them. They really took me in and um the the program I I couldn't I don't have anything bad to say about it. Yeah. I mean, I really I think it's one of the the best. I but agree. obviously I'm in it. So. Yeah, I agree. I'm I a agree. little biased, but I love it so much. <laughs> okay. Give us like a typical day in your life now okay uh well, i wake up i like don't let myself sleep why because I'm, I'm crazy i'm like actually a crazy girl <laughs> why like literally i don't know i don't I know i will sleep for as long as i possibly can yeah it's just like sleep's not for me sleep for when you're dead sort of thing oh my god someone told me that <laughs> you know complexions yeah i went to the summer intef- yeah. intensive and clifford was like wake up you can sleep when you're dead oh. But yeah, that's just like, I don't know. I'm like, I feel like it's a waste of time. Like for me, I just like get antsy. If I sleep in, my whole day's ruined. So I get up at like 6.30. Like um, on a weekend too. Yeah. I 
uh, recently I've been trying to not go on my phone when um, you wake up. Yeah. Cause I usually don't, but recently I've just been in the habit mm. of a scroll, scroll, scroll. Um, so like do all the regs, you know, brush the teeth, right, wash the right. face. Gym. Do you really wake up and wash your face? Yes. I can't. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? I'm like so tired. Like you seriously can wake up and like go do your whole skincare? Yeah. Oh no. But how does your skin look so good then? That's kind of annoying. Because I'm like half asleep and then I'm like, okay, time to go to school. <sighs> Like nothing happens like in yeah. between that. I don't know. I just like gets my. Wow, you're so productive. Day. I aspire. <gasps> no, because I go, I do that, and then gym. I'm usually in the gym for like an hour and a the half. The treadmill. Treadmill for an hour, and then um, if I'm not in a sling, I'll like do weights. Yes, and then have you tried walking on the treadmill? Yeah, I do. I did it's it this fine. morning. Yeah, I just can't go like too crazy because Cause then you'll anything, like, <laughs> yeah, is like not good. Yeah. But um, gym for like an hour and a half, two hours. Then I'll head up to the apartment, say hey to my roomie that I love so your much. Ro- your apartment's so cute. You Thank made a vlog, you. didn't you? And I watched yeah, it. I mean, yeah. Or I like, like a TikToker apartment. or something. Yeah. I, I saw it. Our apartment's the best ever and I have the best roommate literally ever. So happy place when I'm in that room. So I cute. love it. And then emails, editing, normal stuff. And then if I can, I have a Hotworks membership. Have you been What's to that? Hotworks? No. It's like a sauna and you do like Pilates or... Um, See, I don't do working out in hot. Those no. two things don't Not for combine you. for me. It depends on the person. Like, like tomorrow everyone, I'm going to Core Power and it's hot, yeah, yoga, and, like and sculpt. And I literally pass out the last yeah. time I went. So I'm a little nervous going again tomorrow. Lots of water. Right? I think that's like the key. I like love sitting in a sauna. Oh my yeah. God. I love it. I love it too. But don't move while no you're movement. in the hot. <laughs> I, the workout's like pretty simple. And so if I can, I'll go do that. I've, I've been slacking recently. I don't so know. you do the gym and the hot works? Yeah. And the dancing? Yeah. That's, see, that's crazy to me. <laughs> I don't know. And then I just like go home, chill. We don't start. It really depends on the day. Every mm. day's different. But we usually don't start until like 2 p.m. Mm. And then we go 2 to 8. Um, that's like on our Tuesdays and Thursdays. So this would be a typical Tuesday or Thursday for me. And then my go-to. Okay, this is so random. My go-to snack at dance salt and vinegar almonds yes get on it girl okay everyone complains at the studio that it smells like salt and Probably. vinegar almonds no they do it's this huge joke at the studio but i don't care i'm enjoying life <laughs> it keeps me going and it doesn't fill me up too much that i'm like, like dying at yeah yeah. yeah um and then we'll finish at eight i'll go home with my roommate and then make in so you go both go yeah. You you both go to the studio yeah, together. Yeah, she's she's at lunch too. Yeah. So. so is the program you're in like for only for people post high school? So it Cuz they do have one where it's like Yeah, school. so we have two programs. We have lunch and then we have the academy. And the okay. academy, I believe goes up to grade 9, I think. Freshman. Freshman. <laughs> goes up to freshman year, I think. I could be totally off. And then we have a few young, not young ones, but like 17 year olds in launch. Okay. And then, but everyone else is post-grad. And I think like that's a huge misconception with launch is that we're like kids. Yeah. Everyone thinks Thinks of it as like like a studio and like kids, but like we're all post high, mostly. Um, Mm. and like auditioning, most of us have agents, like we're, we're doing the thing. Okay. So, so leading into that now, like. What are you like doing in the industry? All of that. Um, so I'm obviously, I have an agent and I go to auditions all the time. Um, I'm about to get on a job. Hopefully if my arm heals, my shoulder, I'm like crossing my fingers because it starts next week. Oh my God. Yeah. So I'll be on that for a little bit, but I can't talk about it. I know. Sorry guys. I know. But, um, I feel like starting fresh like in the industry is like so hard like I right? did not think it was gonna be I mean I knew it was gonna be hard but like you think like oh like I'm a good dancer like like I can book something that's not how it <laughs> but I I was lucky enough I just went to Thailand this past summer on a job and it was like they this is how they explained it to us it's like 
the Grammys in Thailand. That's like that's how they. So cool. It's not what it is, but like that's like the best way to describe that's it. That's so cool. And that was so cool. We got to dance with like all of these artists from there, and people were like freaking out. Like I've never seen like that kind of like riot about these like big singers but it's so crazy because we have we don't know who yeah. they are but like in thailand isn't they're that like, so weird to think it's about so crazy like just like what's happening no in the actually world, but like america just thinks like the I world know. revolves around them no it's so true <laughs> and like it's so crazy because one of the singers um that we were dancing for her name is linda hey linda, linda. um and she lives here in orange county okay and she has a sandwich shop called linda sandwich shop is it good i don't know i've never been i know i know it's in orange county but i I gotta go literally go but she's normal here but then in thailand she's She's a huge star isn't that crazy best of both worlds she's probably she i wonder if she feels like she's living like a double life that's what i'm saying like honestly that's the way to go that's like that is what i aspire to do now you changed my whole vision of life (gasps) No, like in one country, you're just this normal person with yes. a normal job. You get on a 14-hour flight and I walk off and I'm a celebrity. No, isn't that crazy? That's amazing. No, but that was such an amazing experience. And then I have some things coming out, but I like can't talk about it. I know. Okay, what is like auditioning in LA like? And like, how is that different from like what you've done like in the convention world mm-hmm. and like those kinds of auditions? I've had like a pretty good audition run. Um... I would say, obviously, I'm, like, still new to yeah. this whole experience, so yeah. there's going to be some crazy ones coming, but um, it's, like, crazy, honestly. Like, you walk in, you get your headshot, or you give them your yeah, headshot, your resume. you sign in. I like to be early because I think, like, okay, like, if I'm, like, one of the first people they see, they're not going to have any expectation, mm. and they're going to be more entertained by it, because if they watch, the, think about it, if they watch the dance, like, yeah, 20 no. times, they're, they're going like, to, oh. and their expectations are going to get higher. Exactly, so, like, I like to go, like, first, one of, like, the first, yeah. and then it really depends on the audition, um, they could be six hours, or they could be 30 minutes, like, you have no idea walking in, and I think, like, just the one thing that I've always taken away is, like, just be prepared. I did, like, an audition for Jason Derulo. This is such a funny story. I did an audition for Jason Derulo and his music video for, um, I think it's called Hands on Me. I don't know. With Megan Trainer, And I'm standing outside of the audition room okay and we're outside yeah okay why are they always outside Yeah, we're always outside in the blazing sun yeah like it's terrible probably getting like a third degree burn you know <laughs> the whole thing and i'm standing outside with my roommate cause she's also mm-hmm. auditioning and olivia rodrigo pulls up in her range rover and almost hits us oh my <laughs> god were you like what almost, the he- <laughs> almost hits us with her car were you and like what the heck i was like oh my god okay and she was like you could see her she was like oh my god like she felt bad and then so we're already like okay and then we go into the audition room and jason derulo's there and i'm like oh my gosh usually they're not yeah there. not never there and it was so weird because they like didn't acknowledge him at all like usually they're like oh jason's here and then like they'll say something yeah but he like nothing he just sat there on his phone and then was he like watching yeah and i was i was like standing right in front of him and i was like like trying my best to like be like all cute and then we're standing out this audition was just crazy we're standing outside of the audition waiting to go and they go if you're wearing pants take them off and put your heels on (laughs) sorry what they're like take your pants off and put your heels yes and guess what i was wearing underneath booty shorts no nothing oh my god i mean like I had underwear on. Yeah, but you can't take the... So I'm like, oh my gosh. And they're like, if you don't have shorts, like, don't even bother auditioning. And I'm like, I've been here for three hours. And so I, this girl, so sweet, gave me her shorts. And then I accidentally stole them. (laughs) So you you still have the shorts? I still do have the shorts. (laughs) Because she left, I think. Mm -hmm. But, like, random things like that always happen. So that was, like, a four-hour audition. But then last week I was at an audition and it was... 
I learned the combo 10 minutes. I was in and out in a half an hour. So it just depends. You never know what to expect. And then like Derek's tour, which I know you just talked to Selena yeah. about. But like that audition process was like seven hours. Yeah. Um, And just so stressful. And so Because that's like demanding. in that situation, they made like cuts during it. Yeah. Yeah. So. um, And then sometimes they don't. Yeah, it just depends. But the Derek audition was so fun. Honestly, like I had a blast. That's and, so like, fun. Like I made it to the end, which was like so cool. And just watching everyone was like so cool. And like and that was like an audition where you knew a lot of people. Yeah, I mean, it was like all my friends. Yeah, Getting to dance literally. with all my friends. I mean, that's like the dream. And so they, like it can be so fun sometimes. And then sometimes it's like so stressful. And then sometimes it's so weird. And then you're like, what am I doing? Is this like actually my job? How like sometimes you're like do I want to do this I don't know but yeah it's always crazy yeah okay your arm what happened what happened to your arm okay so I have crazy shoulders they do the craziest things like it's like the twins where you guys like go like this yeah oh so they like pop in and out of the socket all the time and I was dancing with my friend Austin and he I have the video and he like grabbed my arm we were in a class in LA he grabbed my arm and pulled it so popped out of the socket yeah yeah and then I turned under and I think I tore my rotator cuff so I don't have like a definite were you like were you really like in pain when it happened yeah but like I'm not gonna stop so oh I, my god she I would have been like stop the music <laughs> <laughs> the thank ambulance. god I was at the end of the combo but like um yeah, and then, like, for a few days, I, like, didn't do anything about it. I'm so bad. But you were just, like, it really hurts. I was in so much pain, like, actually in agony. But I was, like, I don't want to, like, have to stop. Yeah. So then I finally went in. They gave me a little sling. And I've still been dancing. That's crazy. Um, I just, like, my legs work. So why? But you are literally missing half of, like your arms yeah but i actually like it's honestly been good for my training because i'm so full out and crazy when Mm -hmm. i dance it's like helping you holding me back a little bit and like that's something that i've been working on so i'm honestly not grateful that it happened but i'm like disguise yeah and everyone's like i really like notice a difference in your dancing this week obviously there's a difference because (laughs) i have one arm but like yeah like it's like teaching you something yeah so hopefully no surgery anything like that but i'm gonna get checked out on monday cross those fingers everyone speaking of that do you feel like dance is like in your future until your body literally can't do it anymore yeah yeah I really? like yeah I just like sometimes obviously I'm like oh my gosh like everyone goes so through hard. those like patches yeah but then I I call it like post combo um what's the word depression no excitement like oh. what <laughs> what's the word excitement Um, like adrenaline post combo adrenaline is what i call it and it's that feeling after you finish a combo and you feel adrenaline and you feel like nothing could stop you really do you have that ever get that feeling Um, (laughs) like normally after my molly combos like i always love the combos but i'm like wow i'm so tired yeah but like i don't know i just like it's always been this thing for me like i just if I'm having a bad day and I like don't and the combo's go. good, okay, yes, no, no I did yes, get that, yeah, and the combo just like hits and you're like hits. feeling it, yes, and that yeah. post combo, you're like, there's like five seconds after you finish the combo and you're like, wow, there's nothing in the world that is wrong. Yeah, and like, I do actually oh agree. Oh my gosh, you don't even think it's happening. It's but just it's like happening. that right moment when the combo really hits and you're just like doing it, and then you're watching other people do it, yeah. and the vibes are just good. Yeah, and I think like that's one of the best feelings in the world. I'm like not down to let that go anytime soon. So, wow. Like, yeah, forever. Okay, normally I post like a story mm-hmm. doing viewer questions, yeah. but obviously this was last minute so and I didn't. Minute. But I have some. Okay, just she has already. Some. Okay. 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 Ready? I have to go answer fast. No. I mean, you can elaborate, but... That, you got really excited there, so I was like, <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. Where is Bella in 10 years? Okay, so I'll be 29. Oh, my gosh. Married. Hopefully, put a ring on it. Girl. <laughs> um, but I hope to have done some tours. That's, mm-hmm. like, the ultimate dream. I did Justin Bieber's, like, kid Oh, thing that's cool. When I was 11. 
And so getting on that stage, like, just gave me the taste. And I was like, this is it. Like, this is what I want to do. So hopefully I would have done some tours um, and music videos, all the things. Like, all I want to do everything. And maybe I'll have a, a, maybe child. I'll have a child. I mean, I'm 29. Is 29 young for a child? Like, yeah, maybe I'll have a baby. That's scary. <laughs> Isn't that scary to think about? Uh yeah, but I think 29. Yeah, give me that kid. I'm ready. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You and like, of, oh, I also am living in a mansion. In in California? Yeah, but like not LA. I'm so scared of LA. I don't like LA either. No, I'm scared of it. It's like so scary and like not a good place to raise a child. I'm like, put me in Newport. Oh. <laughs> put me in Newport by the beach. <laughs> I'll have little surfer children and a <laughs> That's hot, sexy husband. <laughs> and you're still <laughs> taking those combo classes. Still taking the combo classes <laughs> and touring and wow. doing this and doing that. Yeah. All of it. Wow. <laughs> we love a girl who can dream big. Yes. Okay. That's the only way to go. You kind of answer this, but your dream job. Yeah. I think touring. Like touring. Yeah. I think like there's nothing that could beat it. I mean, but I don't know with who. You don't have, like, a ultimate, like, end goal artist. I think Justin Bieber, like... Full circle moment. Full circle moment. And I'm, like, the biggest um, D Glazer fan ever. I love her. Do you know who that is? No. Oh, my God. You will. After. But <laughs> she's, like, Justin's, like, one of her dan- his dancers. Oh, oh, oh. And, yeah, she's blonde, you oh, probably know. Oh, you probably. definitely know her. Yeah, like seen on Insta. Yeah. And she posts these videos on TikTok of like her on stage. With and Justin. Yeah. And the vibes of his like style and Nick DeMora is like such an amazing choreographer. So I think that would be so full circle and so cool. And maybe like, mm, like a girl. Olivia Rodrigo. Yeah, she actually just had her audition, and Selena I did. Was I just did talking. get cut right away. Um, someone like sassy and fierce, like I want to like Rihanna. hair down, give me that bikini top, like wow, yeah, put those extensions okay. in, call it a day. You will make it happen. Yeah, I will. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you, me. I mean, maybe you'll make your debut back in the competition world at Break the Floor at a closing show. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> at a, oh, no, I was just, I, I was curious to see the end of this question. <laughs> Who is your dream duet partner? If I were to make a... No, no, no. But like... <laughs> dream du- duet anyone. partner. Would it be your D glazy person? D, no, I could not dance with her. Oh. She's... Is she really good? Yeah, she's just like mother again. No. So not your dream duet partner? Um, I've had some amazing duet partners. You've had um, some good duets. Yeah, I think... I had to do it with Avery. I had to do it with Tate. Um, wow. And so, like, honestly, like, maybe, like, Diego. Mm. I love him. Or Sam um, McWilliams. Oh, I was like, I, which one? <laughs> <laughs> I was, like, <laughs> I was um, really on edge there. <laughs> <laughs> Sam McWilliams. Um <laughs> I mean, all of those boys, give me any of them. Like, I love them all. So Jake, fire. Easton. Mm. Who am I missing? Holden. I love Holden with everything in my body. Mm. Um, all of them. I think they're so great. And then, so obviously, good. all the boys at the space. But I dance with them all the time. <laughs> so, you basically do duets. Yeah. I've, I also did a duet with Reggie. Oh, you my God. Reggie. I love Reggie. Uh, my roommate actually choreographed it. Reggie and I go way back. Yes. Reggie Season two of Project 21. 21. You should have him on. Oh, my God. He would be so <laughs> funny. Um, I'll get yeah. on it. Give me a duo with anyone. Like, I love duets. They're so fun. Really? Yeah. Have you ever had a trio? Yes. Do you like <laughs> Do you like them? I, uh, that seems weird. The only trio I've been in is it was, it used to be a quartet, and then one girl couldn't go to the competition, so we just made it a trio. Oh. Yeah. Trios seem weird because it's like, one person is left out. Yeah. yeah, I'm like not a trio girl. I You're a duet think. girl. Duo. Like, give me that eye contact. Okay, would you rather do a solo or duet? Like, where? Give me a setting. Okay. 
we're at like the dance awards like gala in vegas duo oh. i think do at any time i think it's fun to dance with someone mm. yeah okay yeah i don't like to be like alone up there Give well me when you're on tour off. you're not gonna be alone exactly there's gonna be a lot of, a people. Lot of people can't wait <laughs> what is your current favorite song right now Oh my gosh, that's a hard. And do you have a workout playlist and then like a car playlist? Okay, like, are you one of I those look? people? I gotta look. Yeah, let's see. What are you we like got one of those here. people? Or are you okay? Let's start. Let's okay. Let, I, me, let me backtrack. Are you a Spotify or Apple Music? I'm an Apple Music. Why? <laughs> I don't know. That's like what my family's on. I don't know. I don't control it. You want to know like something funny though? Yeah, I love Charlie Puth. <laughs> Literally, who is that? charlie puth is no my king i love him is, and so everyone's gonna hate on me for that but i love him you know what song hits right now hmm. ick <laughs> he gave me the <laughs> ick. Uh, <laughs> so good i was listening to sizzle on the way here mm, but i think i do have a workout playlist but recently i've just been listening to michael jackson michael jackson yeah you know michael jack i'm pretty sure me and michael jackson have the same birthday really yeah can you google when is michael jackson's okay, birthday let's see we're gonna find out here now no because i swear i swear michael jackson and i have the same birthday when is michael jackson's birthday <laughs> nope his birthday is august 29th <laughs> <laughs> no, what no <laughs> why okay you go have you seen the lsu oh my god yeah i so hip-hop before I came here, I looked way cuter, but I spent like a half an hour learning. The no, LSU. you did it. Yes. You know it. Yes, I learned it. My friend Summer yeah, is on the I team. I love Summer. Yeah, you know Summer. I love Summer. She's on the team, so I like felt like I owed it to <laughs> humanity to learn that so, and to myself. And so I why was not, sweating. You're not getting on Minnesota or Ohio State? I don't think I could do that stuff. No, I think you can. Maybe, maybe once I have two arms again, I'll give it a <laughs> shot, but for now it's like trending on tiktok to like do like the minnesota turns actually i mean all of them are so incredible see like now that i see stuff like that i'm like maybe i should have gone to college because that looks so fun but um i don't think i have it in me (laughs) i don't have it in me you will not see me at uda next year but anyways yeah michael jackson is my workout stuff recently the car is always something different Mm -hmm. i like don't i have a playlist i think i have a playlist it's called roll them down like roll the windows down. Wow. Okay. Do you ever <laughs> feel like FOMO when everyone gets their Spotify wrapped and like everyone's talking about it? Um, no, I just am like, don't post it. I don't care. <laughs> You're like, I literally don't care. I mean, I'm not going to say it. I'll give, you I'll just, give it a double tap <laughs> and a woohoo. But I'm like, I heard it's not even accurate. Probably not. And I think you can do it on Apple Music. I There's think like you can. Way. I just like. I also, actually do think you can. I don't do even them. care what mine is. <laughs> like i know what i like i don't, know. I don't need someone else to tell <laughs> you're me. on spotify yeah so but who, like that's because who is your top artist i want to say it was SZA or yeah. taylor swift that's great yeah i couldn't tell you what mine is because <laughs> apple music <laughs> okay wait i'm gonna i want to tell you guys a story so i was watching your tiktok okay it was like this wait wait okay i'm scared it was like you were at a party no 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 it was like guys i just broke my oh no- my god <laughs> i knew you were gonna say that guys i just broke my new my no contact rule and this rule is very real yeah like i've experienced it firsthand it's very real and then you made a tiktok and you're like i just broke no contact yeah so are you still breaking are you still on no contact again you just jumped right back into the no contact i broke no contact because and- you were at a party together I broke no contact <laughs> and I think it's better to stay no contact. I agree. And we are still no contact. So I mm-hmm. also know from your TikToks that you do hit up the college party sometimes. Oh, yes. So you get to experience like the fun side of mm-hmm. college yeah. without actually having to do any of the academics. Mm-hmm. What are your favorite colleges to oh my God. party with? Okay, that's a great question. I don't know. I love it. I love the frats. Mm-hmm. I do. I really just... Because I don't get to go all the time. Yeah, yeah. So I think like... It's, it's like, even more enjoyable. It's special. It's fun. Like... 
I've only been to a few, mm. but ASU and U of A are just my go-tos because I know so many people there. Yeah. There's always drama. There's always fun. Like, um, something always ends up happening. So really? I'm, yeah, I'm going to stick with my AZ baddies and say U of A and ASU. But I will say that I think I like, I've only been to U of A once and it was, I think, more fun. Than ASU. Wait, yeah. is ASU like the number one party school in Arizona? One of them is. Like literally like on like okay. a website. From what I've gathered. <laughs> from your <laughs> intellect. So U of A, their parties are like in these big frat houses. Okay. But at ASU, they're like in like ha- just normal houses. So, so they get shut down easier. Oh. Um, yeah. So give us an update. What is the relationship status? I'm like, okay, well, I'm single. Okay. That doesn't, that wasn't like a solid like answer. No, I'm single. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing else. I mean, I can't give it all away. I'm single. Right. And like, <laughs> and what have you learned in your time being single oh my gosh so much i feel like less like 2023 was like my year to like grow and like learn Mm. and like this year is like i'm like thriving and like enjoying life you know yeah last year um was so hard on me mentally um just because like i was learning how to like be alone all this stuff um and I was, like, so heartbroken all year. I, That's like, so sad. So all my friends were so sick of it. They were, like, you need to be better. Like, it was, like, a disease. Like, <laughs> that feeling, oh, my gosh. It's so. Yeah. But, like, now that I'm, like, all patched up and good, like, <laughs> I I don't I don't know if I, like, want a boyfriend. Maybe. We, I don't know. We have, like, I'm, a like, very big update video coming. Yeah. It's very necessary. I'm single, but like... (laughs) (laughs) Oh my God. I think there was a long time, and I talk about this like on my TikTok all the time. I'm like, I don't want a boyfriend. Like, such a waste of time. Like, it is a little bit. (laughs) Like, and I'm very just like, the next guy I date, like, you're my husband or leave. (laughs) like Like you're not not like at this point you're not looking for just like a i don't like mess around with that stuff i don't know like like, i agree like full. i don't get the people i mean no like hate to anyone who does that but like i like get too attached i feel like (laughs) i feel that why i'm just like i know what like my future looks like Mm. so like if someone doesn't fit into that you don't want to hold anyone yeah, to they're hold not you gonna back be let me word this properly if someone like doesn't fit into the life i want to live like they could be the most amazing person in the world but it's just not gonna work so like for me i wouldn't even think of like stepping into a relation with some a relationship with someone who doesn't have like a mindset and like of their goals and yeah. like they know what they want for their yeah. future because that's so important to me yeah and i surround myself with people that are going to be in my life for a long time i'm not into the seasonal friendships like i'm not into it i think it's weird (laughs) like for me yeah no i agree so when it comes to boyfriends i'm so picky now now i'm so picky i used to not be like it's not good long 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 time ago (laughs) like I just like wasn't picky and then now that I have had a a relationship that I consider was extremely serious and like I loved that person and cared for that person a lot it made me like learn so much about myself and then when there was like a breakup I was like okay ouch first of all (laughs) but I was like all right these are the things that I need like yeah. for my next partner yeah so yeah i'm like so serious about it you've heard it here first guys yeah so send your applications <laughs> but actually don't because 
but okay could you ever date a dancer no yeah, i don't think so either i don't some think of them, i can some of the dancers have been hitting me up in la i don't think i could i don't think i could do it either so stop <laughs> 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 like i legit don't think i could no like being in dance class with someone you're dating like literally gives me the ick or to like think about. auditioning with someone I, like it's just a personal thing like i'm so I competitive agree. if my boyfriend was in the got audition it. room with me and they got it oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh no i literally agree 100 <laughs> percent. so i could never date a dancer yeah i just think and also like i want to like come home and like I like not talk not about dance talk about it. I mean, I want to like talk about it, but I don't want them to be like, yeah, I know I was right beside you the whole time. <laughs> like you want to be able to talk about your audition and like and what happened. I want to hear about their, yeah. you know, like a sense of normalcy, please. Okay. I've seen your stories and I see you teaching a lot. Mm-hmm. So what is that like being a teacher compared to also being a student? Yeah, I love teaching. I think I work at two different studios and I work with like little, little chicken kidlets (laughs) and then I work with kids who are almost my age and I think it's made me such a better student Mm. because now that I'm in the teacher's spot, I can be like, oh my gosh, wait, yeah, that is annoying. Like, you know what really gets me when I'm teaching? When I ask them a question and and no one 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 responds. I, when uh, being a student, I like didn't really, like, you know, I'd be like, but I would talk And I was always like, why do they care so much that we, like, say yes? But it really does affect, like, how your class goes. And so things like, like, little things like that. And it makes me a better dancer, too, because I watch my kids and I'm like, oh, you should do this. That'll help you. And then I'll, like, be dancing and I'll be like, oh, maybe I can try that. So... It's really like beneficial both ways. And yeah. I love my kids so much. Like I feel like a mother. Like <laughs> I really do. I care like care about them more than like my own life. Like and I love getting in the studio and sometimes they're not excited to see me and sometimes they're so excited to see me. Um, and, you know, I've been there. I try to be like super personable with them. Yeah. Because I want them to feel like... A connection. Yeah, and like a if they, like, are feeling some sort of way that they can talk to me about yeah. it. Yeah. You know, like... Yeah. Like, I had a, like, a kid, and she was, like, crying, and I was like, what's going on? And then she felt... Com- like, I want them to feel comfortable yeah. enough to talk to me about that kind of stuff. Um, so, I think, like, having that relationship with my kids is the most important thing. It's March time. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Have you seen it? No. Really? Yeah, I like I wanted to like I was going to I was going to like prepare and watch a whole bunch. But then I was like I want to be ex- surprised. Yeah. Okay. That's no fun. So basically I have both in a crew neck and a hoodie version. Uh-huh. So you can decide. Both of the colors. Is it what you mean? Yeah, what like I have mean? both colors in a crew neck and a hoodie version. So color number 1, this is like a so crew neck cute. version, mm-hmm. gray and green. That's really cute. And then this is blue and white. I feel like I want the gray and green because I have some green But do you want it in a crew neck or a hoodie? Maybe a hoodie. Dude. Okay. Sorry. Now you have to get up. Please hold. I'm sorry. I <laughs> I just got a gray hoodie for from my the studio I teach at. You got a hoodie? Yeah. From so that's why I, or a gray crew neck, so that's why I want the hoodie. Oh. <gasps> oh my goodness! Wait, so I cute. S- the what? greens aren't really similar. Oh, is it supposed to be the same? No. I think it's so cute. It's perfect. Oh, my God. I'm going to wear this. It's, like, so simple. Every single, it's perfect. I'm in love. I'd put it on right now, but and it's quite a struggle. Si- and you have to sign the board. Oh, my gosh. Uh, yes. Uh, and I really, every single time I'm, like, sign the board, I'm, like, why did we choose the color orange? And it's because it was, like, the Sharpie that was just sitting here. It's perfect because it matches. But it's just, it. like, so random. No, it's cute yay like yay let's do it well i have to say this is like one of my top favorite episodes really yeah oh i'm so honored we have to do a part two yeah we do oh my gosh maybe oh my gosh who knows maybe i'll be engaged on tour <laughs> two arms like who knows with in your newport child with my new oh, hopefully i won't be having a child in like 
I'm going to say, I want to. Oh, we're saying in two months. Yeah. Like you're going to be engaged in two months. <laughs> I was kidding. <laughs> but not with child. Okay. In two months. Okay. <laughs> okay. Update in two months. So stay tuned. And you guys comment all of your questions. Yeah. So then for we can Bella do on this video. Yeah. And we'll go back and look at it and yeah. be like, wow, we look so different. Wow. Wow. We're so, we're going to be so much hotter in two months. Yeah. Yeah. That's the goal. <laughs> yeah. Every morning I wake up, I'm going to be like, I need to make good choices for, for my Bella, my video <laughs> in two months. Oh my god! No joke. No. no joke. Yes. It's like um, 75 hard for the pod. <laughs> Have you ever done one of those? 75 hard? Yeah. No. I'm, I feel like my life is 75 hard to <laughs> age. It's like two workouts a day. Yeah. Do it. Like wake up. More than two water. workouts a day. Like the only, I just like sweets. So that's the only thing. mm Give me a sweet treat. I'm into it. <laughs> <laughs> well, wow. thank you so much, Bella, for thank coming you. on. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys next Friday with a brand new video. Yay! Bye! Bye! Bye.